One of the standards for 7th and 8th graders in geography in Minnesota is that students will name and identify on a map all 50 states and territories in the United States. In the mainstream, they whip through that in about a week and they look at landmarks because they know that most of the students who've been, who were born in this country know the 50 states, um, at least know how to say them and are familiar generally with where they are. Yet my, for my students, the names of all of those states are new, brand new content knowledge for them. And so just learning the names of the states and where they on, are on the map will take a couple weeks for my students. And I need to find ways to help them be able to work toward that content standard um, while making and building the language that they need in geography. So for example, with my United States um, unit, the first thing my students do um, is learn how to pronounce the names of the states. We do various games to repeat them. Students spell them. They say them for each other. They have flashcards. They learn the abbreviations. They learn to match states with the capitals. Um, they draw them on the map. They draw it in the map in regions. They draw it on the map um, blank. They use the abbreviations. My students do much much more playing with the language around the 50 states that would be um, ridiculous to do in the mainstream and superfluous. The students don't need that much work. But my students, because they're coming from a position of no background knowledge, they just need a little bit more um, work to get to the, the academic standards of the mainstream students.